Okay, in uh, today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do asymmetric uh, tiling with uh, stable diffusion. I will be showing you the Alimix 3 Revolutions again because I really like this model. I think it's really good. Um, congratulations to her. I did hear that she was in the Stable Debility monthly newsletter, so I'm very happy for her for that. Uh, I will give you a look at the pictures again. I think it comes out with really good pictures. I really like this little zombie here. Um, I, I really like it. You guys might want to check it out. Oh, I like that. I can see a cane. So uh, let's 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 get back to the the nitty gritty here. Um, so I have a simple prompt: seamless tile with sugar skulls, very detailed, Day of the Dead style, 10K high resolution SSS. A friend of mine told me that that works very well. I have high quality uh, macro uh, micro lens macro lens photo uh chiriasco something like that i don't know uh i put it in some of my prompts and they come out very well i did generate a few of these they did come out looking pretty good but i wanted to show you from scratch what i was doing now uh i do have an extension here i forgot that it was an extension i thought it was just part of the base thing and then uh a friend of mine, and then i was looking through it and i was like oh no a friend of mine did tell me to download the extension so what you're going to want to do for the extension is you're going to come down to extensions it's going to have installed here it's going to show you all the uh the, the ones that you have uh, installed already you're going to want to take a look at this asymmetric tiling sd web ui so you're going to want to look for that but you're going to want to look for it in the available tab here and you're going to want to hit load from um load from extension index url i guess and then uh, you're going to load that and then when you look down just stroll on here until you until you see that extension and then you can come over here hit install uh you might have to hit uh go back to apply and restart ui but you're looking for asymmetric tiling sd web ui uh https you know all that whatever uh but that's what that's what you're looking to to install it now after you put in your prompt you're going to want to put it for 512 by 512 i put it on a dpm plus plus sd cross you can put it on whatever you would like uh i'm having a sampling steps of 60. now oh, here is where you're going to find uh your asymmetric uh tiling tab you're going to want to click that down you're going to make sure it's active you're going to want to hit the tile x and the tile y you're going to want start tiling from step n to be zero and you're going to want stop tiling from uh, after step n uh negative one so you can play around with this if you want i tried playing around with it and and i think that the default settings are are just 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 what works i think i think you get the whole picture when you do that but i'm going to generate uh let's say i'm going to generate I'm going to generate five of 512 by 512. I'll pick out the best ones that I like. And when I'm done, I'll come back and I'll show you. Uh, let's go with this. And then I'm going to go. Okay, so I generated five of them. Uh, this is the one that I'm going to go with just for the video. Uh, you can generate more. You can get more out of them. If you use Laura's, if you um, use other models, you can get you can get other ones that you like. I liked this one, so I'm going to go with this one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to high res fix. I'm going to upscale it by, no, denoising straight is going to be 40. I'm going to upscale it here by 3, uh, 512 by 512. I'm going to leave the asymmetric tiling going. Uh, I'm going to come, I'm going to grab that seed. Let's see, what was that seed? Okay, let's grab this seed here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to paste it. So I can get it, uh, get 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 the one for for this one right here. I'm gonna generate, and I'll be back whenever it gets done because it will take a while. Okay, so I got my image here, and the one thing I did forget to do is I did forget to come down here and knock this batch count down to one. So when you find the one that you like, unless you want to get like the next five after that, you do want to drop this batch count back down to one. So when you generate it, you only generate it one, and you're only spending uh, some of your time there. So I've upscaled it by three. What I'm going to do now is that now that I have this one selected, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to send it to extras. I'm going to come to extras. I'm going to go to the where the upscaler is. I'm going to put this. I'm going to put it on 4K ultra sharp. You might want to put it on um, our Escaran or, or whatever, whatever it is you got that you want to use. I use uh, 4K extra sharp. 
uh, I think Olivia, Olivia, I don't know how to say his name. I feel so bad. Uh, very famous, uh, or well, uh, one of the one of the, the more, more the more uh, famous uh, AI YouTubers uh, for image generating out there. He did a video on it. I think AI inter- uh, entrepreneur, uh, uh, one of my favorite uh, 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 AI generator uh, or AI uh, uh, content content uh, commentators. Uh, I think he did a video on it. I could be wrong on that. I could be wrong. I do know that uh, Olivio, Olivio did it. Sorry, uh, I'll put a picture of his face or something like that. Uh, but I do know that he did a video of it. Now, now that I'm in extras, uh, I have the 4K Ultra Sharp. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down and what did I put that on? Uh, let's see. That was I have notes. I have notes of everything. I always put notes. Every time I find something, I put a note, and then that way I know where it is. Uh, extras was well, okay. So I'm gonna put this down on. Uh, 4k ultra sharp i'm going to come here where is it where it says resize and i'm going to do this to 1.8 now 1.8.5 1.85 that's what it was right am i right i'm right i'm right okay so i'm going to put it at 1.85 and that's going to get me as close to the zazzle uh uh qualifications or uh what do you call it specs because I believe Zazzle, I believe Zazzle's uh, uh, image size is 2160 by 2880. 2160 by 2880. And I want to get it as close to 2880 by 2880 because it's a square picture. And if I wanted to, I could upscale it a little bit more. But 1.8.5, because they don't have the... Because I can't bring this all the way up to 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 to, to, to 20, uh, 2280, I have to I have to pretty much go by uh, by that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna generate this, and when I come back, uh, I'll, I'll I'll come back when it's finished. Uh, okay. And that was actually really quick. Um, the the upscaler or the extras. The, the, the extras over here, the upscaler is really fast. It, 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 it will it will do it most of the time really fast. Sometimes I'll put some pictures in there before. Well, before I used to put pictures in there, and it would take a long time to generate them because I was generating them up to that um, disc plate. I was looking to generate them up to that disc plate size. And uh, you know what? They might have been bigger than that. I might have been making them for, like, something bigger than that. But I, if, if I remember correctly, it was for the disc plate size. But, okay, so I have this here. I have that there. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to stop it for a second, uh, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when, whenever you have the asymmetric tiling going on. Okay, so I wanted to show you a website here. It's um, Seamless Texture Checker. It's by uh, paichong.com. Uh, I think that's how you say his name, or say the name. Um, or it's by Eric. Sorry. Sorry. It's by Eric. Uh, Twitter at uh, Paichung blog. blog? Uh, and it, he does have a buy me a coffee, but it's very good if you want to test out what what images you brought up and what and, and what they look like uh, after you turn them into uh, after you turn them into the into the asymmetric tiling. So we're gonna drop it in here, and it'll show you right there. That's what it's gonna look like. Now, I've come up with better ones. Uh, this one I do like, but I have come up with better ones. I perform prefer them when they when you don't have a straight line here. And when it looks more like the whole thing so i'm going to go back i'm going to generate some more pictures but i did want to show you how to do the upscaling and when i when i should when i bring when i after i generate more pictures i will come back here and i'll show you a bunch uh, different ones okay okay so i did change the prompt a little i put mushrooms and i took out the day of the dead and you can see that i did get some more mushroom like like things and I did generate a bunch of pictures. I did want to show you that. Um, and then all I did was I, uh, I sent them over to extras. I uh, scaled them by 1.85, 4K ultra sharp. I did, I did every one of them. And they came out at, at uh, what was it, 80? Oh, they, they came out close to what, what their max size is. Uh, so one moment, uh, I'll go over to, uh, and, and I'll, show you, I'll show you what they look like. Okay, uh, we're over here with... Um, with a little seamless texture checker. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you what, what some of the images came out looking like. That way you get a little bit of um, a better idea. And I have, 
I have this one here that came out a little bit too bright for me, but other people might like it. Now, you might want to go in and impaint the eyes a little so that they're a little bit better. Uh, you can do that. I wouldn't impaint the eyes if it's on a corner, but I don't know. I think this one looks okay. Uh, you could fix it up by fixing that tooth right there, but this one looks pretty good. Uh, I can show you. Let's see. Let's look at this one. This came out kind of psych psychedelic. You can see what it's going to look like. And these are all, um, what was it? What did they come out to be? Twenty eight forty one by twenty eight forty one. I did like this one a lot. I thought this one came out really good. And you can just you can you see how they the, the, they'll look whenever you uh, whenever you pattern them. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Uh, I like this one came out kind of weird. I mean, kind of cool. Uh, the thing I don't like about these ones is they they have a, a distinct line right here like that but I do think that this one looks really cool you can bring it up like that uh, let's take a look at this one I like this one that's a mushroom here are mushrooms I like this one a lot so it made mushrooms really really good too I like this one. This one looks pretty, pretty trippy. Bring it down a little bit like that. So, um, seamless texture checker. It's on uh, pycheung dot com slash checker slash. Um, he does have a buy me a coffee. So if you do use the website, try and give him some coffee. And um, after this, uh, let's 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 take a look at, at Zazzle real quick. Let me see. I did. I did open up a store today because I did want to show you guys uh, what it was looking like. I I might just keep this store open and and try and uh, open, use this one. I did open up a Zazzle store a little while ago and it just it, it was it was like it was it, it, it's bare. It doesn't do anything really. And I've only uploaded like like a few pictures to it and, and kind of just left it alone. So I understand why it's bare. It's not like I went and like tried or anything with it. I just kind of wanted to upload pictures and. And see what comes out and I, I never stuck with it so but let's take a look at this let's take a look at a let's take a look at a pillow let's take a look at a throw pillow we're gonna we're gonna make this throw pillar here pillow here um uh, polyester what else do they have uh i really have a cotton one but i think that's i think that's what they decide let's see uh customize this design now we're gonna go in here I don't know why that that's there. Was I playing around? I don't know why that's there. I guess I was playing around with it. But let's take a look. Which one am I going to upload? I'm going to upload this one just to take a look at it. OK. Now, what I would do in this case, or what I'm going to do in this case, is I would bring that down. I would center it. I would bring it down some more. I would center it. And you see where those green lines are? I would put it right in the center. If I can get it there. There you go. And then you come up here to tiling, and you hit centered. Centered was the one. And then, bam, you got your little, you got your pillow right there. You could even, um, from what I understand, you could even change it to where it's like on the side, but I like it right there in the center. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and then I think you got to do the back on these ones. Let's see, background. Uh, no, no, it's my products. No, it's my files. There you go. My files, use this. Let's see here. Layers, maybe? I think it was maybe layers. I forgot. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, and then background, you go my files, and then you drop it on there like that again. Pick that one, get that out of there, go down a little. You get the green lines again. My mouse is a little too fast for them.
Anyways. Center it. Then you come up here to tiling, you hit centered, and then bam, it's done. So then you can come out to done. Uh, nope, get rid of that. And I don't like the way that looks. I don't like the way that looks at all. It looks kind of weird to me. Uh, I like the way this one looks. I like the way this one looks a lot. Uh, it does look kind of blurry, but I don't like the way this looks. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to tiling. I'm going to put none. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. I'm going to go again. Uh, let's see right there. Boom, there. And then I'm going to hit tiling again, centered. And then I'm going to go over here to done. And that looks better. To me, that looks better. You have little mushrooms right here. Let's check out this one. That one looks better. That one looks good. So you can do this. You can always come up with other designs. I'm just trying to show you how to do it uh, to get the basics. Uh, sell it. I don't know if I'm going to sell this one. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to sell this one. Uh, it might be looking better on a round pillow, to be honest. It might look better on a round pillow. I might do it on a round pillow. Um, this design particularly, it just looks like it's going to be a little too, it looks like it's blurry or something to me. The thing about this is from what I've, like, from all the videos I've, I've watched and from what I've heard, places like Redbubble, places like Zazzle, uh, T Public, T Public and Redbubble, especially. Uh, I haven't really heard too much of this about Zazzle, but when you buy their products, they're marking everything thing up really high. They give you a very low amount of money for your for your designs, and then they go out and they buy the cheapest products they can. They buy the cheapest printing. Uh, everything just kind of looks cheap. It's something really as a, it's more of, they're more of like novelty gifts than they are as actual like stylish designs that you're going to want to do. Uh, if you do want to come up with some, I don't think I'm going to sell this, but if you did, you would come over here, you would hit sell it. And then you would hit the title. You would hit uh, what it's for description. Maybe you want to make it to where someone can put, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a, uh, I don't know. I, I, uh, th there's ways to make it to where you can customize. They can customize the products. I don't like this at all. I don't want to sell this at all. So I'm going to hit cancel. And I've heard Zazzle was pretty good. Uh, as as far as their 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 products go, I don't know too much about them. But I all the all the all these all these sites, Zazzle, Redbubble, um, even probably Displate, uh, maybe in the future. Uh, I, I have no doubt that they're going to go with with the whole, like, well, Redbubble's already started it. Uh, I think they announced T Public's going to be starting it. They're going to start charging you to sell on their platform. Uh, that's what it's going to be. Uh, with, with AI, everything I just showed you, people are going to be uploading like crazy. I have no doubt that they're all going to have to do that. Now, they can say it's because of server reasons, uh, whether it is or not, I have no idea, but it just seems kind of feasible because I know a bunch of people out there are going to be like, eh, I'll just go out and I'll try it, I'll start up some stuff, and then nothing's going to sell. So they have a whole bunch of server stuff uh, being filled up, and they have a whole bunch of people not selling anything. I think, I, I don't know. If it was a flat fee or something, I don't know, dude. Uh, to be honest, I, I don't know. I I, pr I would prefer. I would prefer to not use any of these websites. Zazzle seems to be the best to me because I watch um, Mayo Io. Uh, I don't know how to say her name. Oh, I feel bad. Uh, but she 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 had a video and she was saying that Zazzle lets you put an affiliate link for your own product. So if you if you if you you have to read the the descriptions and everything, but from my understanding, if you if you get in their affiliate pro program, you can go out, you can make your blog, you can make your videos, you can do whatever you want, uh, however you're gonna put it out there. Uh, you put your link for Zazzle. They come and they look at your product. If they buy your product, you get extra for having that link, 
and you get you get you get you get paid for selling that product now if you put the link out there they come they look at your product and then they decide hey you know what I want to go look at somebody else's product I want to buy somebody else's product you still get paid a little bit because you put that link out there to me that's a really good idea I like that idea a lot um, I like Zazzle because they do that but I haven't really sold anything on Zazzle I haven't really really tried to sell anything on Zazzle I don't know uh, Zazzle seems like an okay thing, but I don't know. I don't know how all this is going to turn out in the future. I have a feeling that that in the future, places like Zazzle, places like Redbubble, places like uh, Printful, they're all going to go to. Hey, you want to sell here? You got to pay us to sell here. And with Redbubble, from everything I've heard about their products, I'm kind of like, you should be paying us more to sell on Redbubble because you sell the cheapest products whatsoever. Uh, yeah, your server your server costs may be ex very expensive, but if you're going to charge us to be on there, then you should give better products. I don't want to go and spend time designing something and then go out and put it on something that's going to be real cheap because of another company. Now, if I had the money right now, I don't. But if I had the money, what I would be doing is I would be looking at, at websites like Okay, I am very sorry about this. Uh, I was looking through the video, and this video went to like two hours of me talking about a bunch of stuff that really, it, it, it kind of mattered, but it was more like me rambling and, and not actually being very, uh, I, I stutter a lot, and uh, I, I, was, I was just talking a lot uh, about the same stuff over and over again. So what I'm going to say here is, if I... If I could, if I had the money today, what I would do is I would start something on either Printful or I would come over here to Shopify or Printify or whatever. I would start a page, uh, a website on either uh, Squarespace or I would start a, uh, uh, um, a website on Shopify. Shopify is, is, is one of the websites that, that I was going to show here that, that you, could, you could start. Um, from what I've heard, it was it's a good one. Uh, so is Squarespace if you're going to use a website builder. I would prefer to have my own because if you have your own, you can you can, you can can take a different host. If you don't, like you're kind of locked in with this hosting, uh, whatever their hosting is. If their hosting prices go up, uh, your prices go up. I, um, if, if they don't, they don't. Um, I don't know too, 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 too much about it, so I, I don't really want to talk too much about it. I think I've already talked too much about it, but... Squarespace, Shopify, easiest ways to start your own website. You do have to pay more. You are kind of locked onto their hosting site. If you want to transfer your, your website to somewhere else, from what I've heard, it's a little bit more of a hassle. Uh, it, but it's it's it, they're, they're the easiest ways to do it. Now, Zazzle, what people don't 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 realize about places like Zazzle, places like Redbubble, places like TeePublic is they do take care of some of the work for you. Uh, there's a YouTuber called uh, Wholesale Ted, and she went into the, the taxes. It's not very hard. She showed how to do the, uh, the taxes on, on on the video for different states, uh, but they do take care of the taxes for you. So you don't have to worry at the end of the year, uh, oh my God, I sold to Alabama, I sold to Mississippi, I sold to uh, California, I sold to New York, and now I got to pay taxes in Alabama, Mississippi, New York, California. I got to pay all those taxes. I got I to pay those states their taxes for selling in their states. Redbubble, uh, Zazzle, uh, the other one, TeePublic, they take care of that for you. They take care of that. They take care of you not having to have a website. They do take care of a lot of stuff for you. So it's, it is a very easy, easy thing to do to come over here and just be like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to open a website here. And, you know, if you can make money, you can make money. Like I said, uh, I you're dealing with their customers. You're not dealing with your customers. So you do have to take that into, into I would, what I want to do personally is I want to come over here. I'm going to make this real short. Uh, well, hell of a lot shorter than what the last video was because that editing that I was looking at like I don't want to go through all that, um, and it, it was just me talking over and over again. I didn't know where to cut it, so finally I was just like, no, you know what? You cut it here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do the Zazzle thing because I like Zazzle because uh, like I said, I was watching Maya Maya Ayo 
uh, I think is how you say her name. But I like the idea of being able to have the affiliate link. Uh, I don't know from, from from what I've heard that their products aren't that bad. Uh, from what I've heard, their products their products aren't bad at all. Uh, I've heard Redbubble and I've heard Tea Public have like crappy products. I'm gonna I would prefer to to to, to save my money. Eventually, be able to go to Squarespace. Eventually, be able to go to, to go to a place like Shopify, or what I would really like to do is is pay someone to be like, "Hey, dude, hey, ma'am, whatever. Can you design my website for me?" Uh, but I don't have like like I was talking to a friend of mine. She paid over four hundred dollars, something like that, for her for her website, which isn't that much. It shouldn't be that much, but for me, it is. And uh, she paid over four hundred dollars. And her website was just, it wasn't, it wasn't even to sell anything on. She, she paid that money because she was trying to do good for people and she wanted to inspire other people. So she paid that money just to help other people. And eventually it was like she couldn't keep it up. So she ended up letting the, the website not, not die. She still owns the website. She goes and she pays for it every now and then to keep the rights for it. But it's not really like you can't go to it right now because until she wants to work on it work on it more, it's just kind of like not there. It's not working or whatever. I, I forgot how she, she explained it to me. But so paying somebody else to build your website can be a little bit expensive. It, it, 300 bucks really isn't that much. If she paid, I, I would like to find I would like to find someone I trust to be able to build my website. To be honest, four hundred dollars isn't that much. But when you put in that you're going to have to be not only paying four hundred dollars, but you have to make sure that you can pay for whatever goes wrong with these. Customer gets a shirt with 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 a, with, a, with a hole. A customer gets a shirt and and whatever's wrong with it, uh, you have to pay for that. And then you have to hope that Shopify pays you back. Uh, I mean, not Shopify, sorry, Printful or uh, Printify. They pay you back. Uh, it, from what I've heard, uh, one of these websites, either either Printify or uh, Printful, I forget which one. Do your own research on this, please. Uh, one of them is really good at paying you back really quick. One of them, it's really hard to get a hold of the, the customer service. They don't want to always pay you back. It's always a, a pain in the butt. Uh, a lot of people just decide, hey, you know what? I'm making so much money. I'll just eat the cost, whatever, whatever. I don't even want to deal with that anymore. I don't want to do that. I don't like. I don't like the idea of somebody messing up a T-shirt. I'm paying for it, and then they, the other, the other people don't want to pay pay me back for it. I, I just, it, 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 I just feel, I just feel like, like everything that my my family taught me, it, it just goes against all of that. So, kind of do your research. Take a look around. Uh, if, if you don't like the idea of going to Redbubble, if you don't like the idea of going to Printify, uh, even if you don't like the idea of going to Zazzle, don't go to them. Don't go to them at all. Go to uh, uh, like like I said, uh, go to go go to go to go to Printful. Go to go to Printify. Go to go somewhere else that you can find and start your own website. Build your own customers. Get your own you know email list going. Uh, if you have a blog or if you're making videos uh, or, or, or something like that, you can put those, you know, you can put all that on your website. It works. It works. It, it works a lot better for you in the long run. It is more work. You do have to figure out how you're going to do your taxes. Wholesale Ted. Uh, she does have a video on there. I'm making her taxes. She's a very nice lady uh, from, 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 from what I've seen. Uh, I, I, I like watching her videos a lot. I think she's very funny. I think she's very goofy. It's fun watching her videos. Uh, look for the one with the taxes. Uh, look, you know, you do have to, you know, worry about reimbursements. You know, if someone got something, they, it, it didn't go wrong. You're the one that's going to have to be paying for that. If you don't go to them, Zazzle would pay for it. Redbubble would pay for it. Um, the, the other one, I guess, Teespring, they would pay for it. But they kind of, you know, put it in you. You know, every time you sell a T-shirt, you know, that they're going to they're gonna put that in you. Well, I don't know about Zazzle, but I do know that... Uh, uh, Red Bubble, Anti Spring, and, and and I think there's another one, uh, the Society Six or something like that. I I barely hear about that one. Um, the only bad thing I hear about Zazzle is that it's really hard to sell on there. And from what I understand, it's not really hard to sell on there. You just got to do the work, and you got to actually know the the clientele that go there. Like the clientele that comes to Zazzle is pretty much people who. The clientele that come to Zazzle are people who want to customize stuff. 
uh, from what I hear, it's like people like weddings. It's people that that, that want to do like birthday parties. It's people that want to do an, anniversaries or whatever, but they want to customize their work. Uh, so it, it, you kind of have to f figure out what, how that works. Um, that Moyo Ario, uh, I, I'm, I'm showing a picture of her. Uh, if you go to her channel, uh, she has a lot on that. Uh, I, I, I really don't know too much about it because I kind of started a Zazzle page and then I was like, ah, I'm going to do something else. And then I was like, ah, I'm going to do something else. And now I'm kind of like, I would rather just go to Zazzle, uh, see what I can bring bring up there, save my, my, my pennies from, from, from the, the, the job I have and go to uh, eventually get a website uh, either with Shopify or or uh, Squarespace or with uh, maybe I find someone I trust and they'll build me a website. I don't want to go to someone that I don't really know and I don't know anybody, you know. So it's it's kind of it's kind of difficult, but I would rather go do that and then and then come here to somewhere like Printful or someone like Printify and 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 have my own my own store. I would rather have my own products. Um, from what I understand, the quality of Printful is is is, is way better. The quality of Printfi, Printify, uh, I, I've heard a little bit about. I really shouldn't say them because I really don't know. But from what I understand, the the quality of Printful is way better, like way better than any of the quality you're gonna get from like Redbubble, any of the quality that you're gonna get from uh, Teespring, Zazzle. I can't speak about because Zazzle. Uh, I don't I don't know that much about uh, as far as their quality goes. I've heard that they have good quality. Uh, I've heard a couple people say that they have really bad quality, but they said that Redbubble and T T Public do as well. But the a couple people out of as, as many people as I've heard talk about it, I'm not going to really mention them with that. I've heard a lot of people say that Redbubble and a lot of people say that um, T Public is just bad quality. I mean, like I said, I remember when people were making fun of uh, YouTubers that, who had huge, huge followings and they were taking their stuff to like Tee Public, And people were like, why are you charging $50, $60 for a t-shirt just because you have a huge following and you're having people order your stuff from Tee Public? Like that's the worst quality you can get. You're, you're basically ripping off your subscribers if you do that. And I thought it was funny because I didn't know anything about Tee Public. I didn't know anything about that. I think that was like around the first time that I started hearing about like the the print on demand community, and I was just like, oh wow, if these people are like 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 if they're charging like that much and they're giving people bad quality, I can understand. But that's what I wanted to say. Um, this is my video on asymmetric tiling for uh, stable diffusion. I hope you guys liked it, and I did have to cut it down. It looks like a, I, I think I cut it down like an hour and a half. It was it was a long time, and I was like, you know what? No, you got to cut this way way back. So I hope I, I hope you guys liked it. I hope someone got something out of it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. I I, I will answer them as soon as I can. Um, if you like like it, if if you if you dislike it, you know dislike it if you uh uh i don't know uh if you want to subscribe subscribe uh, i don't know how many more of these videos that i'm going to be doing on uh the print on demand thing it is something i'm interested in i don't it's not something i'm interested in making videos on because i i myself am just trying to learn it so i don't think i don't think i should be learning i'm just telling you what i'm doing and my 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 idea of this uh maybe like I don't know. Uh, there are other people that know a lot more about it than me. Uh, so maybe you might want to pay more attention to them. I'm just telling you my opinion. This is all my opinion other than how to make the isometric tiling because that I showed you how to do. All this is my opinion. Uh, don't sue me. Uh, Redbubble. I don't care if you suck. Don't sue me. Goodbye. Have a good day.